Hello, everybody. Kind of an exciting day today. I finished a project that was um, a while coming and uh, quite extensive. Took a lot of time. Uh, finally got them done, though. Uh, it's actually a friend of mine that I went to uh, middle and high school with. She's getting married, so she ordered a pair of knives for her and her soon-to-be husband. And I just finished them up today. And they're probably so far one of my favorite pieces um, that I've finished. Um, so you can see they're kind of small a pair of friction folders that I've done, you know, a couple of these before that I've shown you guys. I've done one previously in this pattern, um, but these are really extra special uh, for a couple reasons. First, I'm sure you can see this handle material. Um, this is uh, a material I make from uh, aluminum chips and epoxy. Um, I'm calling it space junk. Uh, it was an idea that a um, uh, fellow knife maker Peter Martin came up with. He, he, he told me to look up what what they call you know fields of floating debris in space and apparently they call them space junk. So I felt like that was kind of a fitting name um, for that handle material. Um, I really, really like how it turns out, especially on these folders. So you can see that's for the backspacers as well. Um, the bolsters are black and red Ducarta, which is a layered, a layered micarta. Really, really cool looking. So I'm gonna just put one of these down and give you a close up of one of them because they're both the same. Which it's always nerve wracking making two of the same thing. Yeah, to try to get it perfect. Um, so you can see the, the real cool swirly patterns in there. Um, it's aluminum. There are always a few flecks of copper and bronze and brass and a few other things in there, um, which I think just adds extra flavor. Um, you may have caught it when I was turning the knife, but you can see it has titanium liners that are heat colored, kind of a random pattern. I just wanted that for extra flair, and it's titanium and I could. Um, the blade itself is 1084, um, which is os tempered. Um, huge shout out to uh, Mr. Peter Martin for helping me out with that. I'm going to put in some footage at the end of the video of us actually doing the heat treating process. Uh, it's super cool. You put it in just a couple different salt baths, and it uh, comes out perfectly at 59 Rockwell. Um, and these did so. Really spectacular. Uh, it's a really cool process. So you can see there's oil on the blade, which I always put oil on the blades because these are sta uh, not stainless, and even if they are, I usually do anyway, just because even stainless will rust, and it's just good to have some oil on the blade. Um, hollow ground, uh, 320 satin with uh, satin on the flats as well. See, it's got a little swedge on there just to add a little bit of accent to that tip, a little bit of complexity. Still got a nice thick tip. Um, these are friction folders, so there's no lock. Um, but with the design of them, there's that finger troil, which is nice and rounded to uh, keep the blade from closing on your fingers. Um, there is also a good amount of friction. It is on uh, Foster Bronze washers, um, but there's a good amount of friction that'll keep it open or closed. So you can shake it around all you want. It's not gonna come open. Um, to carry these, I'd probably recommend a you know small pouch or a belt sheath. Um, but they are they're nice smooth action. Hardened uh, stop pin there. It's got a three sixteenths pivot, and uh, it's put together. The the uh, liners are screwed together with some eight thirty two screws, so they're really fat, and uh, nice fat pivot in there. These are 632 um, uh, screws holding the scales on. And you can see just, I don't know, really, really happy with how these turned out. Really wacky, really interesting colors. Really nice finish on the blade. Really, really comfortable. Nice rounded, you know, should just be really good little utility knives. And beautiful, like I'm sure their marriage will be uh, and whatnot. So just wanted to show these off. And uh, the good news for those of you that are like, oh my god, I want one of those. I have a stack of blades that we heat treated all at once. 
that are ready to have handles on them. So if you're interested, send me a, an email at zimknives at gmail.com. Um, they're all eighth inch, 1084, perfectly hardened and heat treated, or hardened and tempered, ready to be in your hands. Um, so thanks for watching guys. As always, check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash zimknives. And um, yeah, this is Nate here. Have a good one. Peace, guys.